Hello there and welcome back to some more Forza Motorsports 3. Today we continue on with Let's Play. This is episode 77. In today's episode we are taking a look at the Lightweight Sports Showdown. This freeway fight pits the Honda S2000 and the Mazda MX-5 Roadster against the Porsche Boxster S. We have a choice of the MX-5 Gen 3, Boxster S or the Honda S2000. And the car, I wonder what we're going to pick. We are going to go for the S2000 the purely because it means I don't have to do much with the PI of it because the MX-5 is way too underpowered for this. We're going to go for the yellow. Oh, I want you to see you use the Boxster. We already used the Boxster. I put a fucking 911 turbo engine in it. God damn it. Also, Wasn't it a GT2 engine? this thing has some pretty horrific body mods. I Oh my fucking god. Oh god. Okay, you know what? I've got to use that. That's ridiculous. Oh, yeah, I should mention I'm not watching this. I'm not watching the stream. I'm playing Burnout. No worries. <clears throat> I just seen it in that in a brief moment. That's fucking hideous. It is brilliant, isn't it? That's fucking hell. Anyways, I broke my car. Lightweight sports showdown. We've already read the fucking thing. What does that say? Lose the pounds, mm. gain the miles per hour. Your only competitor is gr something. Anyway, so Cooper Shaw is first. I. Should have read that correctly. What a nice guy, Wang Gang. <laughs> yeah, I am part of the big Wang Gang. <laughs> I'm sorry, for some reason, and this happened in the. Uh, I think I used this car in Need for Speed 2015 when I played that as well. The S2000 has the most ridiculous set of wings available for any car, and I have no idea why. Like, it has borderline fucking time attack wings for some reason. It's incredible. Uh it's it it's is. because the S2000 is a lightweight, good handling sports car. Yes, which has been ruined by tuna culture. And me. Uh, oh yeah, have you already started the next part? I have. Um, no. Just let me. Are we? Oh shit! Sorry, we're starting like, quite far down the bottom. I think the box is like the most OP car in this. Listen to that VTEC. VTEC wow. Look at his Wee. hand, completely missing the manual gearbox. Oops! <laughs> That's how a wheel shifts a manual. Yes. Completely misses it. That's why I gave up on them. I just spent all my time stuck in neutral. I was wondering why I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I had to wait until someone sort of ran into the back of me to move anywhere. <laughs> it, got, it got a bit tedious, you know what I mean? It's like, it's yeah. like, on, uh, it's, it's like aging wheels where he t teaches how to, teaches you how to drive stick. He's just like, how, how to how to uh, start on a hill? You you uh, park the car, go in the bushes, wait for someone to steal the car, and then steal it back. All right. <laughs> All right. So, where was I? January pack, the Jalopnik pack. Jalop car. Uh, 1970 Alfa Romeo Montreal. Ooh. Oh, hey, it's Ooh. Scotians Alfa Romeo. I Romain. really like that. It's the Scotian spine pine. Alfa that I like. <laughs> oh, do you not actually like it? I said it's uh, the only alpha that I like. Oh, apart from the GTV6, but that's a different story. I like the fucking. To be uh, fair, how can you not like the GTV6? Yeah, fair enough. I I like the fucking uh uh. Fuck, I can't remember. What I like the how the hamburger lives are getting destroyed. I don't know I why they okay, use the MX-5 Super Light for this. Uh, 2011 Audi RS5. Eh. I mean, we had the it's S5 just... before, and that sounds better. It's an Audi. It, it's an Audi. It's boring. And it's got it's got five cylinders. Well, That's boy, the do thing I about have it. some news for you? Oh, oh wait, does it, does it have five cylinders? No, we're gonna. No, it doesn't. That one's got a V8. Oh, no. We are gonna be <laughs> using a lot of Audis in this game because Audi was like oh. the main sponsor, and I've got loads of them that weren't in Forza 4. Right. So, I've already used like a couple of them. Anyways, um, 96 Chevy Impala SS. Yes! Oh, oh yeah! Oh, yeah, the 96, that was a cool car. What, where was. When did that fucking. Why did that fucking have to go? Yeah, well, no. Because yeah, fun is I know. I know, that car has never returned. Yep. Annoyingly. Just like the Fiero. That yeah, car like, didn't return either. It's, and it's, the it's like the. It's like the thing you just like you asked me to na name name a car you want when you were born, and it's like the Pal SS. Hell yeah. 
I mean, I still um, went down Capri, so... <laughs> 86, Dodge Shelby Omni GLHS. Like Where's our RC when you need it? I'll be gone when inspection comes. Boo -doo -boo -doo -boo -doo. <laughs> oh, okay, here's... here's... Okay, this... First of all, I'm gonna say this. This next card definitely needs to come back. The second thing is, I think Emil will might 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 what? 2000, fi 2000 Fiat Coupe 2.0 20 <laughs> valve turbo. Do you want to know the best? Is that your? What? That is by far and away one of the absolute best handling front wheel drive cars in the game. As in, that it, that thing could take down the Civic Type R. And we all know how <laughs> fucking overpowered the EK9 is at everything. The Fiat Coupe, See, that's the thing I've the never... Fiat Coupe in C class can destroy See, that's the thing I've also. Power. That's the thing I've also never understood is why the Coupe has not come back. I don't know because it's an awesome car. Yes, it and is. It's a pretty well recognized car. I mean, look at it. No car looks like the Fiat Coupe. Yeah, and they never made another car look like that. I mean, have you seen the arches on it? It's probably the only car to ever have fucking triangular wheel arches. <laughs> yep. Probably for good reason, but... Uh, 73 Ford Pinto. Yeah! Hey, can you put a V8 in it? I hope the fuck you can. Yeah, you can, but we're yes. not going to. Hot damn! Fifty Just, uh, discount on ignitions by NGK. I can't wait. I can't wait till Forza I like the Fiat Coupe. Hey, yeah, me too. I know. Falls of Just, uh, Falls of don't touch the back of the Pinto. Falls of right. Falls of Three here is basically designed to get a bunch of sensible cars out of the way. So Falls of Four, I can just go completely nuts with loads of stupid shit. Anyway, yeah, that's the school circuit is next. Twenty eleven Honda number thirty three level five motorsports Lola. 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 No one has anything to say about the Lola. <laughs> Twenty twelve Honda hot. Civic SI Coupe. Oh. Twenty twelve. Yeah, twenty twelve. That was the that car has one, not been it? seen since the that car has not been seen since the first Horizon. Oh yeah, because it got replaced by the 2014 in the later games. Mm-hmm. Mm. This fucking wing. I like how I'm not even in first third person, so you can barely see the wing. <laughs> Actually, I need to... Okay, never mind. This is a Japanese model. I need to answer a question for myself. Does this have two reverse lights? The answer was yes. <laughs> Also, I why like the hell do Porsche boxers try and kill each other? So why exactly did the European do um, the English cars have the fog light again? Um, it's but just a random mandate. The answer is Jeff. You have to have a rear fog light for some reason. That's fucking stupid. So cars, yeah, it look cars like look really wonky. <laughs> the worst mm -hmm. one I've ever seen is the Impreza. The Impreza genuinely has it worse than any other car because you literally have one white light and one red light depending on which side. So it makes the R same completely asymmetrical. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, when I can be arsed and when I have an expendable income, I'm probably going to swap the Accord's factory fucking fog light for just get the TSX lights and have a red bulb. And just run it that but, way. Yeah, I'm planning that, to be honest. Yeah. So. Anyways, carry on. Uh, alright, um... So, see, there's the Lola, the Civic, um, what's next? Twi okay, this is a mouthful. 2011 Lamborghini number 08 West Yokohama Gallardo LP560-4. Good. Yes! It's not a dragon one, it's not cool. What, what did you say, Azza? It's not the fucking gold dragon one, it's not cool. Okay. <laughs> and then, and then lastly, 2012 Pagani Waira. Oh good, the worst okay. dragon car in the world. What a name. Uh, Hyundai Veloster bonus... Hyundai Veloster bonus pack. Oh boy, I wonder what was in that. Was it the Hyundai Veloster? It had the 2011 yes! Hyundai... It had the 2011 Hyundai number 67 Riz Millen Racing Veloster. And the 2013 Hyundai Veloster Hyundai. Turbo. Wow. Yeah. I could never have guessed. It's ironic that years later in Forza 7 we get another Hyundai Veloster pack. Yes. It's a lost N car pack, it's different. Completely. Well, you know, it has the turbo in it as well. 
fucking different. Alright, so I've already mentioned the launch bonus pack. Because that came out later in January. Uh, Feb the February American Le Mans series pack. That was a good one. That's the reason to be in it. Which has the 1992 Alpha Male 155 Q4. Yeah! Sorry, car, bro! Yeah they, yeah, they had the fucking they had the fucking upgrade preset one in Horizon Three with, with, that basically made it the touring car. They had a, it, that's been in every game. Every game has that. Yeah. yeah. That, actually, I just realized the one is the one five five not in Horizon Four. No, it is. It says it. It says it. Uh, it does not appear in Horizon Four. Hmm, maybe it doesn't. Huh. Be weird if it didn't. Yeah. But, okay. I'm, hang on, I'm looking this up now. Cause it, oh yeah, it, it it's not in Horizon Four. It's fine. You can put a cold rotor. Or it's in Four as a Seven, so seven. I guess that's close enough. I should have really done that for Silly Car Showdown. Yeah. Quad rotor one five. You should have really done Silly Car Showdown. Shut up. No. I always wonder why you didn't. You stopped doing that. Um, I ran out of ideas and I felt bad because I couldn't upload it like correctly. Oh. I hate like not. I hate being inconsistent with shit, and I couldn't keep an eye on that or my own channel, so I basically had to pick one to drop. Oof. Unfortunately, that's a, that's it was that. Bummer. I know it's a bit of a shame. I really want to do stuff for HD, but like I just have no ideas. Mm. And I can't just hey, lob one of my so... current series on there because I like to no. do the whole intro shit. I mean, I could love All right, so. Like... Alright, so. Anyway, sorry. After that. 50% discount on fuel systems by AEM. AIM. How many more races do you have to do for this one? Uh, I think there's two. Okay, good, because I, wa I wanted to make yeah. sure I could get. Through Full the pack. circuit reverse uh, Iberian. 2011 Audi number two Audi Sport North America R18 TDI. That's the one we got gifted. It don't matter if you have the DLC or not. If you didn't have the DLC, it just sat yeah. in your fucking garage. There's also the first pack to have the Audi number two Audi Sport Quattro S1. Oh, the wait, what? The Quattro S1? Was the Audi the Sport. Game? Yeah, it it was introduced in Forza Four. Oh shit! Completely forgot. Yeah, what? Well, uh, there's the. I thought that car just showed up one day. <laughs> There's the fucking 2011 Bentley Platinum Motorsports Continental yeah, GT. Yeah, that's a fucking amazing car. 700 horsepower. And, like, it's a B-class car with, I think, a free handling stat. Which is it basically... A -class. Yeah, it's an A-class car with a handling stat of free. <laughs> that's not good. Its handling stat is 4.7. Yeah, which is basically, in A-class, it's just a coal site. Bad. I think it had, like, 4.4 braking or something. Fuck. It was not good. Yeah. Then there's the 2010 Dodge Quinton Rampage Jackson oh, Challenger. Oh, that thing was amazing. Did you know that thing can have like 405 tires on the rear or something? Wait, what? Yes. Yeah. God! It can have 405 Are tires we... on the rear. The the Quinton Rampage. It can, it can have big. It can have Are big. We using that in the... Yes, Are we are. Of work? Oh yeah. I used the regular Challenger in this, so we got to use. You better use the. I'm hoping you use the Platinum Motorsports Continental. Oh as well. fucking mate, that's on the shortlist, fam. Good. I have use no it. idea what I'm gonna use it for. I'm probably gonna have to like make it S class and just put every handling part known to. Actually, do you know what it might be useful for? I might just have to like stick fucking drag tires on it and turn it into a fucking bowling pin. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but. I'll do something with the Platinum Motorsports Bentley, I assure you. Even though it is like 500,000 credits. Which is ridiculous. But of course, I've got to use that. Have you seen it? It's amazing. It is amazing. Okay, so what's the next one then? Uh, 1995 Ford Mustang Cobra R. Yeah. Oh. AKA SN95. Yes. Hey! <coughs> Not a much. car that's also not in Forza Horizon 4. Yeah. Hey guys, Chris here. Chris Vicks. It is in Forza Obviously. 7 though. It is. I mean, not... Was DLC in Forza 4 and Horizon 1. It, I mean, it's weird. Not really. And Forza 5. Thing. Weird. 
It also, for some reason, between Forza 5 and the later ones, I think it lost its Celine body kit, which it used to have for some reason. Uh, 2011 Holden HSV GTS. Okay. Wait. Are you going to use Do stock cars Holden? at some point in this game? Yeah, you bet your sweet ass I'm going to use stock cars at some point. You bet your money. I've got to use the fucking Doth Charger. Fucking Xbox 360 uh, edition at some point. 1991, Mazda, number 55, Team Mazda Speed 787B. The yes. car that won Indeed. Is it in the proper livery? Yes. Is the car Jurassic yeah. like? Because he's wrong. Oh. It's the car Jurassic basically goes on, oh, it's. Uh, you know, everyone only likes it because it won and it's popular. Ugh. It's like, Is that no, I like it because have you heard it? Yeah, have you heard it? Hey guys, <laughs> a thing that is one of the it's, like, it's one of the most it's like a brutal, cat in the heat. It is one of the most brutal sounding cars in real life. Oh yeah, yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. I always compared it to the uh, the V8 F1 cars. Yeah, fair enough. Also, Sup Wolf. I know as I said Sup, but I'm gonna say Sup as well. <coughs> As I can sup my notes. Uh, yeah, hey, Azza. I'm not that good. Hey, Azza. Yes? What the fuck are the rims on the Mesquite Custom in Burnout Paradise? What the fuck do you think I would know? Right now? Question. When I'm distract. Yes? How have I managed to drive an S2000 and no one's made an RCR joke yet? Actually, speaking of the 7 you, you, you know what's actually. You know what's actually true? You know what's actually. You know what's the interesting thing about that? Go on. The rotary engine is actually allowed to race again. Huh. Yay. Really? Yeah. The 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 ban that was given to it has been lifted. Yeah. Why so we... what you're saying is in theory Ma Mazda could just run the seven eight seven B again. Oh, it'd be woefully underpowered and be terrible at fuel economy and well, but... And in theory, yes. Oh, Mazda could. Why do you think, Mazda, why well, do you think the I said in theory? Well, the 787B was already one of the thirstier vehicles in its race. It just happened to be insanely Thirst. reliable. Hey, guess what? I got a 30% discount on differentials by the maker of Gran Turismo, Kaz. Thanks, Way. Kaz. But yeah, Mazda. And finally, right I, at once club circuit. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Mazda return, decides to return with a rotary vehicle in the future. Yeah, but they'd have to make it like a rotary hybrid of some description. Probably. I think they're already working on that with the Master Two. Put it into also, of course. Two. The, also, of course, the only car for that we were able to say the only Japanese maker to win at Le Mans, and that was until 2018, when Toyota won finally. Yes, right. well, and people say, go, say, well, yeah. they, they didn't deserve to win because there wasn't much competition. It's like, do you know how hard it is to run a fucking car for 24 hours? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and, and this isn't even just running for 24 This is running for 24 hours at speeds over 220 miles an hour. Like, yeah. I'm trying to remember how fast the, the, the saddest go. thing, too, is that in 2016, it nearly had fucking done it. In 2017, like, it, it was... nearly did it, didn't it? Yeah, 2017, the car broke down due to, like, human error. And then 2016 was the one where it cuts out, like, five minutes before the end, didn't it? Yeah, that's the one I was mentioning, they nearly did it. Mm. I saw that live Fuck you, the Boxsters! <laughs> I heard LP Ripper. What? Yeah, I, I, saw, I saw that live in a theater when the fucking thing cocked out. 2022, Mazda Returns to Le Mans. Hopefully. What was your reaction when it happened, Scotian? I can't even remember. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> to be honest. You've blacked it out. I still wonder when Toyota will come back to NFS. Probably in 2016. I, I think, and playing Need for Speed is going to survive for another three years. Let alone 50. I, Anyways, I think, um, so after I, the 70... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I, I think my reaction was, uh, well, shit. <laughs> I think if this Need for Speed fucking fails, Need for Speed is dead. Yeah. Anyway, anyways, um, next was the 2011 Panos number 050 Panos Racing Abruzzi. What? 
the f the abruzzi. I don't know what that means. I. It's the one that it's it's that one Panos they were trying oh, is to make. Oh, the one like that looks like an Esperante but like Thanos? Yeah, it's the weird Esperante. Yeah. It's 2019, still on 360. Yeah, apparently so. Um, no, I've got an Xbox One, but you know. And then lastly, <laughs> this is the most ironic one. After all these racing vehicles, special tuned vehicles, uh, a couple muscles, and a 155 touring car, the last vehicle is a 2011 Volkswagen Polo GTI. Oh, I think yes, that's I like the that. greatest racing car of all time. Vanos Esperante, please. <laughs> <laughs> how much more? How much more of the race do you have to do currently? Two more laps. Uh, let me Please. see how quick. I can see how far I can get into the March You've Pirelli got car about pack. Two minutes. Uh, 1986 Alfa Romeo GT V6. Yay. 2011 Aston Martin V12 Zagato Villa Cool. That's a cool one. 1995 BMW 850 CSI. Uh -uh. I really like that. I really like that Beamer, to be honest. Beamer, it's Beamer, cool. Beamer, Beamer. 69, Beamer, Beamer. Uh, 69 Corvair Monza. Yes! Yes! No. It's so bad, I love it. Uh, 69 Chevy Nova SS396. Yay! Uh, 71 Ferrari number 2 Ferrari Automobili 312P. Let's grab our vapes and sit in a circle. Yeah, welcome to me for speed. 66 Ford Country Squire. Yeah. Yes. That was basically the Scotian pack. Big, Corvair sexy. And County Squire. We're using that in Forza 4, aren't we? Yes. Uh, <laughs> then if it's stupid in Forza 4 and it's relatively cheap, you can basically get it. They need to bring that back. They need to bring the Country Squire back. Yeah, I don't know why it's gone. We got the wooden uh, white. 2010 Renault Clio RS. <laughs> it comes in cool colors. Oh, it comes in good colors. If we ever use the Clio, make sure it's red with plastic bumpers. No. Uh, 2012 Ultima GTR 720. I remember when that car wasn't the 1020. Yeah, no. and then lastly the 2011 Weissman GT MF5. Weissman. Hey! Yeah, I thought it was Weissman, but no, it's Weissman. It is, because the Germans don't have... I think Mueller, Mueller and me were talking about this. They don't have a W, so it's just all there. Anyways, I'll save, the I'll save the next one for the next video. Indeed. Yeah, because we are literally on the final lap. I'm pushing the fucking S2000 to red line. Breaking into this corner. Can he catch it? Yes, he can. Up there. I wonder if there's an advert for the Suzuki Kashi on the back of there. No, there isn't. It's just four wheelers and bikes. <laughs> and uh, across, across the line. The line. <laughs> this thing was very. We win. Anyways, we get nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we lose. Good day, sir. <laughs> but we won. But we lost. But you didn't. Anyways, eleven thousand two hundred fifty credits. Thank you. And that's the end of this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time we are going to be taking a look at the German SUV shootout. It's Fucking time to go hell. big or go home. Join no, us. For, uh, join us for that. Until then, farewell. <laughs>